Welcome back to 12 News at 530. Tonight, we're looking into the potential dangers surrounding abandoned mines across our state. There are currently 100,000 of them here in Arizona, and not all of them have been fenced off. As Team 12's Trisha Hendricks reports, action is being taken to make sure people stay safe. We're here on state land in North Phoenix near New River, and this is one of nearly 100 abandoned mines the state mine inspector's office has secured so far this year. We have a, uh, an estimated 100,000 abandoned mines, and the state mine inspector's office has only cataloged about 10,000 of those mines since the, about the 1980s. As Arizona State Mine Inspector Paul Marsh explains, one of the main reasons we became a state was because of our mineral resources. We're known as the copper state, so there are a lot of copper mines out there. Think back gold and silver rushes. There were a lot of prospectors that came in, started mining. When they stopped finding ore, they just walked away and left the mines there abandoned. Many of those mines remain. They're incredibly dangerous. Some of these mine shafts are incredibly deep. Uh, we've looked at a couple just recently that are over 120, 130, uh, almost 200 feet deep. And one of the biggest concerns about abandoned mines, people's curiosity. They want to go in, they want to look, and not all of them are just shafts. You know, there's a lot of portals that look like a cave. They look like they'd be fun, but there are also false floors in those, so there could be a shaft inside of those. They're habitat for bats snakes, mountain lions. And Marsh says there can even be toxins. So right now his office is working to secure them with signage like this. So the best thing to do is just stay out and stay away from it. And then if you could, note the coordinates on your phone, you know, pin, drop a pin on your phone and then you can go to the uh, state mine inspector's website at asmi.az.gov. There you can report an abandoned mine and start the process to get it fully secured. So far this year, we've already looked at 90 mines. Uh, 22 of those are new mines that weren't in our de current database. Right now, his team is working to create long-term plans for a uh, more permanent solution. Careful. Such as foam filling, uh, completely filling them up with dirt and other materials. All in an effort to keep people out of harm's way. So remember, if you come across an abandoned mine, bottom line, stay out, stay alive. In North Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Wow, Trisha, thank you. If you do come across an abandoned mine or think you might have spotted one, again, like she said, be sure to map it and send that information into authorities so they can get it secured.